Welcome back and let's get into the more fun part. The engine itself. No need to do it yourself. What you see on the screen is a pretty decent barebone platformer engine for Game Maker Studio 1.4. Here you can see a game that feels a little bit like Meat Boy. A great game by the way. You can wall jump, attack, cut grass, fall through certain blocks and roll. It's a rough but very good engine already. Show ZBG some love and comment on his engine if you like it. So when you own Game Maker 1.4 or Game Maker Studio 2 already, you can get it officially here, link in description below. For those who just want to check it out with a trail, I made a compressed version, link in the description below. It had too many things on it, see limits in the yo, -yo trial below. You can't open it with Game Maker Studio trail because you are not allowed to port it with a trail to a higher version, so that's why you have a different one here. I changed a few things, as boosting it to 60 frames per second, which is a better stand. I have changed all the images, so there won't be any issues with copyright, details and further tutorials. We will together boost this project to its total limit on the trail version. Just press F5 and when it's loaded hit the spacebar for the full screen. You can play now around in this little sandbox. So good so far. Experienced devs and guys who already understand how a platformer works can skip this part with good conscience. Because I will go roughly through the structure and how this platformer works and the two main objects we will be operating on. So once you open, on the left side there you will see your layers, which are backgrounds, instance and layers, tilesets. Basically you just have the player check all the time for the object, archive the instances from the collision box layer and if he collides with them he won't fall or he can't go through them. And the tiles layers just paint some nice images above them in order for it to look more neat. On the right side you will find your resources. On the sprites you will find the sprites which are your images. On the objects you will find the I control all object. This is the most important one. Here we will store most information like that, the gold income, the experience system and use it as a graphical user interface painting uh, the playhouse and other things. The terrain, parent and things folder you can ignore for now. They are not important for us. The only other thing we will be focusing on is the player object itself. Double click on the O player and then on the create symbol. Here you can adjust the movement like the gravity where it's marked with change here. If you double click on the step movement event you can see the O player is getting the input initialized and you can use it right away with the keyboard and the joypad from the start. So you don't have to worry about that either which is really handy. So when you press a certain button it does something in the code below. So don't worry about that. We won't be changing anything here, only adding one small feature. Last but not least the draw event. There the images of the Yo player changes when he hits a different state like for example attacking or walking and so on. And that's basically it. 